What's up guys, this is Multi Quick Tricks here to show you how to do a realistic muzzle flash uh, in Sony Vegas 12 Pro. Um, so first thing you need to do is get your clip, drag it in, um, mine is on my desktop, I'm going to drag it in, and you first need to scrub through your images and go to the exact frame right before you recoil so oops um so what you want to do is um yeah just scrub through and then that's right there right before you recoil and then you enter another video track and that's where you want to put your muzzle flash in uh you can just get it from google images type in muzzle flash it's like the first thing you get so you go to video event effects for, and you go to sony chroma key and you change the color to black because that's what you want and then you'll notice there's some lines around the muzzle flash just with a low threshold put that up that's about right and then you can blur it if you want it's just kind of a preference um so after you're done with that you want to crop it you go to event pan crop for the muzzle flash and crop it uh, mine is the other way around um muzzle flashes are usually pretty big uh bigger than you think so let me just crop this that looks about right uh, okay that's perfect that's good all right that's perfect that, that's good all right now that you're done with that you gotta shorten the length of the muzzle flash to one frame one frame only so you gotta find the end of the muzzle flash and reduce that all the way to one frame one frame only. So after you've done that, you want to copy the frame where the muzzle flash begins and then a frame after that. So two frames, you copy that part, split it, you copy it, and then you paste it right on top. And you can take the audio away by removing it from the group and then deleting the track it is on because you do not need double audio. So now that I have that copied, you uh, need to take out the, um, okay, hold on, get it out of the muzzle flash, okay, now you enter another video track, put the muzzle flash on top, and then you go to video event effects for that, and go to Sony brightness and contrast, put the brightness up for that, that's about right, then you go to event pen crop, Go to mask, position mask, and use that oval circle mask tool. And then you make a big circle around uh, where your muzzle flash will be. Now it's very messy, so you gotta go to feather type both and put the feather right about there. That sounds about, that looks about right. Okay, so now that you've done that, you could mask out other places, but right now you don't need to for the sake of this tutorial. You can mask out however much you want. Now you enter the video track for the last step, which is the smoke. Uh, that's very important as well. You can remove the audio. There's no audio at all from the group. And you can delete the track for that. So now that you've deleted the track, you go to the event, video event effects for the smoke. So you chroma key here. Uh, you add okay then go to the color same same thing you go to black and then you scope to see where the smoke is lower the threshold and for the smoke of course you need to blur it looks much better I promise if you blur it then you speed up the smoke like crazy you just speed it up as much as possible then you're going to go to vent pan crop and pan uh, accordingly to where you want the smoke to be. I do not care uh, what you do, but for me, I want it to go around where the gun is. So, uh, crop that, looks about right. Now you just have to, uh, you see these black lines? I think that's because they're, they're, it's not actually. I don't know why those black lines are there at all. Never mind. Um, you do not need to do that. I don't know why I did this. Okay, so uh, that's wrong. Um, probably just a shadow. So 
what you want to do is make sure that uh, you can see right there there's some smoke that kind of comes out of the flame so what you want to do is uh, crop the uh, smoke to make sure it doesn't go out of the frame like it is right there so you go to vent pen crop for the uh, smoke and maybe scrub through and see where it goes out of frame and about there and you go to pan crop and you extend that part only just to see I mean if it's a little bit no one will notice but if it gets kind of overboard like right around there you gotta you have to extend it a little bit so I think that should be all right okay scrubbing through now looks, looks pretty good so now what you want to do is add a sound effect that is probably the last step in doing this uh, I have a gunshot effect already and yeah after you're done with that it will your gunshot is over so yeah thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe